When you press L or R, you begin a 20 frame buffer window where if you smash GI into a wall, you will get a wall tech. However, if you're in hit lag, it only creates a 1 frame buffer window instead. Because of this, when you're going for a wall tech, you're going to want to input the tech before you get hit, but not so far before that you're out of the 20 frame buffer window when you smash GI into the wall. Wall jump techs work in a similar way. When you input a jump, there's a 20 frame buffer window where your next wall tech will be a wall jump tech. After you input your tech, and optionally your jump, next you have to smash GI into the wall. If you haven't seen my video on smash GI, I recommend you check it out, as in it I cover several smash GI techniques in depth. There are many ways to smash GI into the wall. You can go for a single forward input that gives you 1.5 SDI, a forward to diagonal input or a diagonal to forward input for 2.5 SDI. You can also mash the SDI in ways described in my other video, and doing this will make the timing for the smash GI much less difficult if you don't know when they're going to hit you. If you are specifically trying to get a normal wall tech, keep in mind that if you SDI into the wall with diagonal up SDI, you will be forced to wall jump tech. If you are wall hugging or you are near the ledge, definitely match the SDI as you don't risk messing up the timing. However, if you're farther away, such as if you get down tilted by Marth, timing a double SDI input may allow you to tech even if you're farther away, but probably not at the full reach of Marth's down tilt or forward smash. While staying close to the wall makes teching less difficult, if you sweet spot horizontally, there's a good chance their attack will miss if it's spaced to hit you while you are wall hugging. When you manage to wall tech, the remaining frames of hit lag still happen, so if you're hit by a weak or a strong move, the timing on when you can act out of your tech will change. This is why Fox and Falco often mess up wall tech instant illusion. Now that you understand how to wall tech, let's get into what you can do after teching. There's a ridiculous amount of options here, and they vary per character, so I'll just cover the ones that I think are noteworthy. I'll start with wall tech to fast fall to sweet spot. Not many players use this, but if you're playing a character like Marth or Luigi, you can often reach the ledge after teching so fast that they won't be ready to hit you again. You could also wall tech to slow fall to a recovery that looks like it'll sweet spot, but actually just barely puts you on stage. After a wall jump tech, you can go for recovery mix-ups if your character has them, such as Fox side B timing, Fox up B angles, or Falcon drift in or out. You can also air dodge onto the stage after a wall jump tech. After teching, Captain Falcon and Ganondorf can try to instantly up B for an easy retaliation attack. This works best when your opponent is at high percent. Marth dies from an empty wall jump tech, so back air after wall jump teching to help change your momentum. If you time the back air well enough, you can even hit your opponent and reach the ledge without having to up B again. Fox can also back air after wall jump tech. The last option I want to cover is Fox and Falco's wall tech instant side B. As mentioned earlier, the amount of hit lag when you SDI into the wall changes the timing of when you need to input your B press. On top of that, the height you are at on the wall changes the instant side B timing window for both a normal tech and a wall jump tech. If I were to summarize, the wall jump tech has about a 2 or 3 frame window and the normal tech has about a 5 frame window. While the normal tech window is bigger, if you are too late, you SD. Thankfully, if you're too early, you can react and up B, so I recommend aiming for an earlier timing if you are going for a normal tech. With a wall jump tech, if you're too early, you still have a lot of mix-ups, and if you're too late, you will simply side B far on stage, and you might even hit your opponent. You can practice wall techs by going into training mode and dropping a motion sensor bomb on the ledge. First, try wall hugging and trying to get a tech, and then practice doing a good option after wall teching. Once you're comfortable with that, on a console version of 20XX V3.02, press L, R, and D-pad up and hold an input like down and A to make player 2 spam an action such as Falco down smash. Press Y and D-pad right to turn on hitboxes and move them to the edge. Next, press L, R, D-pad right to freeze player 2 on a specific frame. Now when you are hit, your opponent will instantly use the move again and freeze on that frame. This will allow you to practice teching against moves that reach farther than a motion sensor bomb. 